All glory to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He's the author and finisher of our faith, and without him, nothing is possible. Welcome to Faiths and Gates Ministries. Share the video, click that subscribe button, click on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Former NFL cornerback Brandon Langley, who I believe currently plays arena football, or he was signed, uh, uh, signed with one of the arena football teams, or he may be in the USFL, one of the two, but he was involved in a fight with the United Airlines employee, the which he beat the guy up pretty bad. And the guy just happened to be a so-called white man, a Caucasian man. And I don't know if the guy hit him first because the TMZ version of the video shows Brandon Langley hitting the uh, United Airlines employee first. You know, but the guy is, uh, Brandon Langley is about six feet tall and he's probably about 190 plus pounds, more or less. The United Airlines employee is probably about 5'9", five, 5'10", five, maybe shorter. Nevertheless, I don't want to get into, I mean, this is not a channel that sponsors violence or anything, but I'm making a point here because of the report or the statement that United Airlines and their spokesman made that violence is not tolerated at United Airlines Airport. They didn't reprimand the employee for hitting him. Even if Brendan Langley attack, attacked him first, he's supposed to call security. But it, it's different versions of the video. I wish they would just release the entire video. You understand? Because the TMV, TMZ, excuse me, version of the video shows Brandon Langley just clubbing him like three or four consecutive times and the guy doesn't hit him, you know? So if the guy retaliated, then you know justice is, hey, this guy was hitting him and eventually he defended himself. Even if you are an employee, it's only so much that you can take, but I don't believe it happened that way. I believe that employee said something to him about the wheelchair because he was using a wheelchair uh, to, as carriage for his luggage, for his bags. And I believe they have some type of policy whatsoever that you you cannot do that so i believe he informed brandon langley that you cannot do that but it was probably his tone of voice that he used and he probably used some expletives and then eventually maybe he put hands on brandon langley first but they just didn't start recording and this happens a lot of times. They don't start recording until the altercation begins to escalate. You understand. But the point that I'm making is that you will always see when it comes to our people, we're the most recorded. We're the most documented. You understand. They always put our people in stories to get spice. They, 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 wherever wherever our people go, there's flavor, there's spice. You understand? It don't matter if that's sports, the entertainment industry. They may not always reward our people for our gifts, but they, they use us in these stories to exploit our people. And then they'll, they'll promote some of these coons like Spike Lee in Hollywood so they can make a movie about it. 
So then when there's a so-called white person sitting down with their family where they go to the movies and watch this movie of a black man uh, uh, robbing a convenience store, you understand. Usually that's how it works. The Menace to Society's uh, movie back in the 90s and Boys in the Hood movie back in the 90s. The training days. So now this is the public witchcraft that they use to say, look, you want to get an idea how a black person is? This Look, here's your movie. You understand? This is what the scriptures talk about, strong delusion. You couple that with a so-called affluent, privileged, well-to-do, whatever you want to call it, white, so-called white person living in their comfort, in the comfort of their homes. And the, uh, the scriptures say they, they will dwell in the fatness of the land. You couple that, you get strong delusion. This is how the enemy works to create division, to, to create race wars, and to stir up the hearts of man to, to, to see flesh and blood while he whipping us in the spirit. Because this devil, and I'm not talking, the white man is not the devil. For those of you Hebrew Israelites with that foolishness, I'm not about that. Yeah, the scriptures state that, yeah, that's judgment coming upon them. Yes, that's scripture. But all of this white, no, the white man, his man, his, his, his life is a vapor. Man's life is a vapor. No, the real devil is that, that serpent, that beast that was cast out. And he'll be cast into the, he was cast out of heaven. And he's gonna be he's gonna be released after the thousand years tribulation, after the tribulation and thousand years in New Jerusalem. And after that, he's gonna be cast into the lake of fire for all eternity. After the period of the the tribulation, the thousand year period, he will be cast into the bottomless pit first, before the thousand year period, excuse me. After that, he'll be released for a period of time. The scriptures state that men of the earth will look at him and say, is this is this this peasant? Is this the one who who deceived the nations and weakened the nations? You know, it's the devil that uses people. You understand. He's destined for the eternal lake of fire. So he's trying to take as many people there with him but that's on an esoteric level but on a on an earthly level there there are people who are blinded by this devil you see what i'm saying so they only see this uh people melanoid people or, or hebrew men and women whatever you want to call us as a threat to to their their self-preservation. When they understand, if you read the scriptures, even when our people were kings of the land and we had dominion over the earth and our kings, the Lord, before he uh, took the children of Israel into the land of Canaan, he said, don't you sit here saying to yourself, look what I've built with my own hands. And we know that's, not the case with the so-called white man so don't give me that pick your boots pick yourself up by the bootstraps no the scriptures state that the, the the world is given into the hands of the wicked you understand so i pray that justice is served not only in this situation but in all situations you know we must understand that we're in the last days and how the enemy is, is going to try to attempt to get us out, out of the will of God. You know, I've talked about the curses of Deuteronomy 28, but that's for another video.
All right. So let me got let me know what you guys think about this whole situation. Uh, Brandon Langley, he hit the guy like maybe about eight or nine times. You know, the TMZ version of the video show him hitting him about four or five times before the guy started to hit him. Then after the guy hit him, when he's hit him four times already, then Brandon Langley looks to the other uh, United States Airlines employee and said, do you see this? You see this? As if, he, I mean, you hit the guy like four times, man. And he hit him back. But there was escalation prior to that, I believe. And he knocked the guy out cold flat. The guy come back standing up with his hands on his hips. Eventually, like, you know, he's like, you want some more? You know, it's not a laughing matter, but I just find it comical how things are portrayed. And I know many people are going to start painting the whole situation in their own image in their own mind then you know cnn once they get a hold of it you probably see them air something about it later today but nevertheless that's all i have you guys enjoy the rest of your day